2013 Audi A3 8P. Um, uh, I had it set so that the alarm would beep when I locked the car and last week uh, that stopped beeping. Uh, so I just did a, a quick code scan, fault scan with Carista. Um, came up with a whole lot of um, alarm error codes and sensor error codes, which has led me to believe that the battery uh, may have gone in the alarm uh, in the alarm uh, system, um, which I understand sometimes they can leak. Uh, but yeah, I am now just trying to get that out. So on right hand side right hand drive it's up in the wheel well so i've already removed the wheel and i've taken the uh, uh liner out and it is up there um looks like it's attached with two bolts one on the side um and then this shear bolt on there which uh, I need to drill two holes and just see if I can release that. So I'm just going to put a bit of WD-40 in there and uh, see how I get on. Okay, I've drilled a couple of holes. I'm just going to use a... I'm just going to try and... Where am I there? I'll just see if I can release that with a hammer and then try these pliers and see if I can undo it and see what happens. Alrighty. So I got that to move a little bit. I'm now going to try these straight ones, which I think are going to be easier. Yeah, that's better. Washer that's good, and then this is a 13 mil bolt on the side. Or oh, not, um, and we got so I see that bolt just is, and then. See how I can get that plug out. Is it a lefty one or a pushy one? Yeah, push it in. Okay. So the alarm. So it's up there in its little case and this is it. Now from what I read online these are not they're fully sealed. I've seen people pluck them apart but uh, okay let's um, see what I can do to replace it and go from there. So a couple of weeks later now um, I shopped around there's a few options for uh, for these alarms. Um, you can uh, pull them apart and try and repair them. There's a few places on uh, YouTube that will show you how to do that. Replace uh, the battery. I wasn't overly keen on doing that. That's the uh, old one. And uh, uh, you can buy a secondhand one. Um, problem with that is you have no idea uh, what the condition or age is um and then the other option is to buy new so uh that's what i've done um part number oh it's upside down let me just switch that yeah uh part number matches exactly the one uh, that i pulled out and um 
doesn't actually look any different to the old one. In some ways it looks like it's might have been, oh, I don't know, I'm making assumptions. Um, that's it, no fitting, no nothing, no, uh, no replacement of that sheer bolt. Um, so let's put it back in and see whether it works. So I've only stripped the liner out halfway. Uh, there's the cable that I uh, wrapped up in a glove and tucked it up out of the way, but it's gonna sit up there. So uh, just gotta mount it into this, uh, back into this little box, um, plug it in. And uh, before I fit it completely, we'll just check that that works. So here we go. <clears throat> So replacement shear bolt, I, uh, I've just got an ordinary uh, bolt that I'm gonna put in. I'm not really worried about somebody coming in here and stealing it. So that uh, sits in there. And I don't need a spanner. I'm not sure whether you can see. You may be able to see better, but let's. Uh... Okay, there it is. Wire comes down through there, tucks in. Make sure you don't get that. It doesn't. So I've just put the a bolt through there. That's the bolt that holds the siren. And then I'm going to test that before I put. There is a a um, a liner, a plastic liner that's going to go over that, and then the wheel arch liner uh, comes back over the top, but. Let's test it and see how it works. Okay, plugging it in. And just locking the car. Doesn't make any difference, but I do know that I've still got fault codes on there for the alarm. So uh, let's clear the fault co codes and uh, see what difference that makes. Okay, there's the inner... Um, liner that I'm going to just pop in place now um, and frustratingly I couldn't clear the codes um, I started the engine just in case that would reset something still wouldn't clear the codes um, but I don't have any time now to fiddle around with it so I'm going to put it all back together with the new alarm uh, the new siren in and then do a little bit more research and see what I can find. I know these uh, sirens have little rechargeable batteries. Maybe it has to charge. I don't know. Um, clutching its straws a little bit, a bit frustrating. But uh, I will do some research and see what I can find. Okay, liner in. See what happens. So I go to the bottom of my uh, issue, uh, schoolboy era. I remembered that uh, when I left the wiring harness after removing the uh, 
uh, a siren. Um, must have been about a month. I actually pulled the fuse uh, so that that was uh, uh, not going any power to it. So now pop the fuse back in and I've only got it beeping on. Job done. Happy days.